Hello, my name is Greg Boyd. I'm a teaching pastor at Wilden Hills Church in Maplewood, Minnesota. I'm a straight Christian, and on behalf of the straight Christian church, I want to ask forgiveness from the GLBTQ community for the way that we have treated you in the past, the way that we continue to treat you in the present. Throughout history, and yet to this day, straight Christians have judged you, we've excluded you, we've persecuted you, we've scapegoated you, all because you're different from us. Even to this day, a lot of straight Christians put the blame for social problems on the GLBTQ community. To this day, there are straight Christians who are trying to get laws passed that would deny you your basic rights. They fight for their right not to have to serve you. I want you to know that insofar as straight Christians have acted and continue to act that way, they are acting in complete contradiction to what Jesus stood for. You know, Jesus never sided with the Pharisees and scapegoating certain people groups and judging them. In fact, he rebuked the Pharisees for their self-righteousness. In fact, Jesus sided with the judged. He, he hung out with those who were the most judged in his day. Uh, he, he went to parties with prostitutes and tax collectors. Jesus taught that, that any imperfection we think we see in somebody else, and that's like a dust particle compared to the tree trunks of imperfections that we have in our own lives. We're to regard our own faults as a million times worse than any fault we think we see in somebody else. The Apostle Paul taught the same thing when he said every Christian should confess that they are the worst of sinners. 1 Timothy 1 verse 15. If we were living consistent with that teaching, if we were really listening to that teaching, we could never look down on anybody. Jesus taught us that we're supposed to love like the rain falls and the sun shines. The rain never picks and chooses who it's going to get wet and the sun never picks and chooses who it's going to shine. It just does what it does. So also, Jesus commands us to love without any consideration for a person's sexual orientation or their gender or their social position or their nationality or color of their skin or what have you. And that kind of love then is antithetical to judging people. It's antithetical to, to excluding people. It's antithetical to persecuting people. It's antithetical to scapegoating people. And insofar as straight Christians have done that to you, I want to ask for your forgiveness. I pledge that I will do everything in my power to help free straight Christians from their self-righteousness and from their sexual orientation prejudice. The judging that straight Christians have done towards the GLBT community was done in God's name. But I want you to know that God is not behind that. God's heart grieves whenever straight Christians have treated you this way. Because God loves you. God loves you with a perfect, everlasting love, just as you are. You're made in the image of God, and Jesus gave his life for you, and you have unsurpassable worth. You couldn't matter more to God than you do this moment. And insofar as straight Christians, who are supposed to be ambassadors of Christ, representing Jesus, insofar as they have not reflected that worth to you, but have instead looked down on you, and judged you, have been self-righteous towards you, excluded you, insofar as they've done that, I ask for your forgiveness.